Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video just showcasing some products that I've really been enjoying. Um, I apologize for the lighting. I forgot that it's getting darker earlier, so I'm going to try to run through as quickly as possible. I know I'm looking a hot mess, hair all pinned up and everything, and I love my bed. <laughs> but I've been studying all day trying to get prepared for an exam I have on Saturday, so I've just been kind of lounging around the house today. So anyway, let me go ahead and start. First items I want to talk about are from the drugstore, and the first two are these Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencils, which retail for 99 cents, and I have one in dark brown, which is this one, and this one is in the shade green. Now the dark brown one I use for my brows, and it looks like this, and let me swatch this green one. This is really pretty. And that's the green one right there. Now these are really creamy, they're easy to blend, <clears throat> excuse me, they don't tug on your eyes. And I was introduced to this pencil just from watching Nitra B on YouTube, she is so crazy. And she did an eyebrow tutorial, eyebrows on point, and she used this pencil and I love the results she got. So I picked it up and I've been loving, 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 loving this pencil. And next I have the Wet n Wild, I guess it's called the Cream Gel Liner or Cream Liner. And I have the shade Black. And it just looks like that. These are only like $3.99 or something like that. They're really uh, pigmented, really creamy, easy to work with. So, you know, you could pick this up instead of picking up like a paint, not a paint pot, a fluid line or, you know, something more expensive. You could just pick up uh, something from the drugstore. And then this is something I just got. And this is from Physician's Formula, if you can see that. And this is the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Eyeliner. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. You probably can't. But it's the 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum. And I have the shade Ultra Black. And I found this through another YouTube uh, guru. Her name is Lip Shock. And she uses this in like all her videos. And it has a really nice fine point. But it's not... It's not um, like a bristle. It's not brush. I don't know what this is. But it's not a brush. It's like... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but anyway, it's... Um, it's pretty black. It's really nice. I like it because it's so thin and you can get right into the inside of your eye with it. So that's why I picked it up and she um, she uses it for her winged liner and it just comes out so pretty and I will say that this is easier to use because it's so thin and so precise. To me it's easier to get a nice sharp line with something like this. So that's it for the eye stuff. I have a couple of brushes here. Two are from Sonia Kashuk from Target. I have this small eyeshadow brush right here. And then this one, I'm not quite sure what this is called, but you guys probably see me use these in like all my videos now. I think these are like $5.99, I want to say, at Target. But they're really good. They're nice and soft. I haven't had any shedding with them. And they just, you know, they do the job. And then this other one I have is... Yeah, the name is rubbed off. This one is from Studio Tools at Target, and it's just the blending brush, and this is only $1.99, and I use this day in and day out. Um, I've never had a problem with this brush. It blends um, really nicely, it buffs out lines and all that kind of stuff, so I really, really like this. I do want to get um, the MAC 222, but I'm not trying to spend like $30 on a brush right now, so that's just going to have to wait, but until then, this will do the job. And also I have this brush that came in the Urban Decay Naked Palette and this is just, it says shadow brush, but this is made out of synthetic fibers so I wouldn't really use it for eyeshadows, maybe for like pigments if you wet them or something or if you use it for like a cream product, like cream um, shadow to put on your lid. I've been using it for cleaning up under my brows with concealer. And it works perfectly for that. This is like my favorite brush. This is the only one I reach for. Um, I have several brushes, concealer brushes from Equal Tools. I had gotten in a kit a long, long time ago. But I like this one the best out of all of them. So I use this pretty much. Whenever I fill in my brows, I use it. And as you can see, my brows are looking crazy. I'm trying to let them grow in. But um, we'll see because it's, it's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> And then last for my brushes, I have the Sigma Round Top Kabuki. And I bought this, um, I want to say almost a year ago. I bought the set of, uh, they're called Sigmax brushes, I want to say. And I used them, you know, sparingly. 
But I've been using this one uh, more often to put on liquid foundation when I don't want to get my hands all messy because you guys know I love to use my fingers to put on my foundation. But I just kind of tap it in and just kind of uh, buff it out and it blends really, really nicely. It makes the foundation look really pretty. So this is a really good brush to get. I don't know how much they re retail for individually, but I know the set of three was like $42 or something, which is not bad. It's nice, nicely, densely packed brush. Really good, really soft. So next I have some nail products and as you know I can't wear nail polish, well, you might not know, but I can't wear nail polish to class. So I did pick up some colors just to have for my collection for when I finish school and I can paint my nails. And you know, sometimes I put them on my toes. So I was in Rite Aid one day and I saw this color which is like really out of my comfort zone because I always buy like pinks. And I decided to give it a try and it happened to be on sale. It's by Simple Colors and it's called Rise and Shine. And I haven't even put this on my toes yet but I just kind of swatched a couple of nails with this color. And it's so pretty. <laughs> really nice. And then I was at Rite Aid and Walg not Walgreens, what? <laughs> I was at Rite Aid and Revlon had a 40% off sale so I decided to choose another color outside my comfort zone. And this one is called Teak Rose. And it's just a really pretty, I don't even know how I would describe it. It's kind of like a brownish pink. I don't know. It's really pretty. They also have a lipstick that's in the same shade. So I picked this up just to try something a little bit differently. Yes. And then next I have some lip products that I really like now. <laughs> I saw everyone on YouTube using these EOS lip balms. I didn't know what all the hype was. And I was just sticking to my Carmax. So one day I decided to just spend that $3 and change and try it out. And as you can see, <laughs> I really like this. This one is in Lemon Drop, I think. Oh, these are so good. But this is what, I just picked this one up. And this one is in Summer Fruit. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what I have left. But this one, for some reason, I don't know. It's not as, this one seems to be a little bit more creamier or something. I don't know. I think I like the Lemon Drop better. But the, it doesn't taste good. I'm going to tell you that right now. But the smell is amazing. Um... These are like $3.29 regularly priced like at my grocery store. I don't know how much they're they're at. Um, I don't know how much they cost at uh, Walmart though. But they're really good, really moisturizing. And oh, I am in love with these things. <laughs> but for some reason, this one had SPF and this one does not. So I don't know if that has a reason why this one feels a little bit different. But I would say out of these two, I like this one much better. So next time, I guess I'll just stick to my lemon. <laughs> And next I have a matte lipstick by Revlon and this is in the shade Why Not. And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it's a really beautiful deep color. And I wore this to school one day and everyone kept asking what it was. Really, really nice. And these, I like these because they're they're matte but they're not like super drying on your lips. And they're like $5 at, at Walmart. So I really like this shade. And let's see, next, oh, let me stick with the drugstore. I have a foundation from the drugstore. Can you believe it? <laughs> I was, I'm always watching videos, trying to find someone close to my skin tone so I could find new products. And I found Caramel Code and Dainty Brown Girl, I want to say. I think I watched both of their videos. And both of them had used the L'Oreal Super, no, excuse me, True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the shade N8, which is neutral. So I said, hey, let me go ahead and give it a try. And I actually really like this. Now, in my video, the last video I did with the purple and gold, I was wearing this foundation. Um, it's, it feels weird, like the texture of it. I don't really know how to explain it. There's a little swatch right there. It's kind of a little orange looks on my hand, but it does blend out really nice. But it feels strange when it starts to dry. I don't know how to explain it. But it's pretty good. I, I think it's pretty decent. Now around here, I have, um, sometimes the foundations will make me look a little grayish down here. So I'm going to a Makeup Forever Pro show on, what day is that, Monday? Monday before class. So I want to see if I can find something that will help with the pigmentation down here. Because um, 
when I put the foundation over these areas, sometimes they'll tend to look like that grayish ashy tone. So hopefully I can find something that'll work out for me. And hopefully I can find a Makeup Forever um, foundation that actually suits my skin because I have the HD in shade 177, but I don't know, it doesn't really match that well with my skin anymore. I think it looks a little too olivey or something, too yellow. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't really match. So I don't know, I'm gonna go and play around with some things and hopefully I find a winner. But for now, this one's pretty good. I'm not complaining. It's it's pretty good. And I never even thought to try this. And especially in a neutral shade. But I like it. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the shade N8 Cappuccino. Okay, so. <laughs> Next, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This one is in Mellow Rose. Excuse me, Mellow Wine. I also have Heather Silk. And that's somewhere upstairs. I don't know where it's at. But... These are really good, really pigmented. They're $2.99 at the drugstore. Oh, I'm not sure how much this costs because I bought it off of eBay, so sorry. I think it's like maybe $7 or $8. But this is Mellow Wine. I think they've changed these because they don't seem to be as powdery as they used to. And this is the shade right there at the very end. And it just blends really nicely. It's really pigmented. Like This is like a, a great um, drugstore blush because for $3 and the pigmentation on it is so, so good. And um, they're, they're pretty decent. They go on really nicely. So, Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild. And I think I'm at the end. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, last but not least, I have a MAC shadow that I just bought. And it's in the shade Texture. Okay, Texture is right here. And so, I've been using this as a, like, crease blending slash transitioning color. This one down here is Saddle. So... Texture is a bit orangey, I want to say. I'll swatch this at the bottom. That's texture right there. And as you can see, it doesn't match, but it's like really close. So when you blend things out, it just works right in. And this one is Saddle. I'm going to swatch that on the other side. You probably can't even see this. I think this one, can you see that? No, because I can't even see it. Sorry. <laughs> Let me see. I'm swatching on top. You can't see it. I swatched it on my knuckle. Anyway, I like those two shades, this one and this one, to blend out colors, to add like that transition color between like your crease and your highlight. So <clears throat> I've used, been using Saddle for years, yeah, for a few years now, and I've seen a couple people using Texture, and they say once you get Texture, you'll forget all about Saddle, and I tell you, I've been using Texture like every day, and Texture is... I don't know. Oh, it doesn't say anymore on the back. I don't know what kind of finished texture it is. It does have like, not a sheen, but it has like something. I don't know. I don't know if it's a satin. I don't know what kind of texture this is. And I think saddle is just a matte. But they don't say on the back, so I couldn't even tell you. But anyway, those are my two favorites for blending in the crease, blending out colors, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't bore you guys. <laughs> I hope all, you, all of you are doing well. And I will talk to you in my next video. And thank bye. you so much for tuning in to the video. I hope you have enjoyed. Say hi, Dion. Say hi. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.